So coming in the fitness center, there's, there's obviously a, a different look and feel uh, this year uh, with everything that, that is going on. You know, our goal is, is to create our, the safest environment we possibly can. Uh, so there's new workout zones, equipment is spaced out, some equipment is completely offline, uh, just based on our social distancing guidelines from the state of Massachusetts. Uh, you know, we're really just trying to provide the most access we can uh, to our facility uh, to make sure students can, can use it, uh, take part in it, and, and be well. So, along with the entire campus, uh, a mask needs to be worn over the nose and mouth uh, at all times, including in the fitness center, when you're running, jogging, lifting weights, etc. Uh, aside from that, our cleaning and disinfecting protocols uh, have been increased. Uh, they are extremely rigorous and, and they're ongoing uh, throughout uh, any person's visit here. Uh, so we do ask a student to stay in their workout zone, clean their own equipment before and after use with the wipes, and most equipment can be brought over to our dirty zone. Uh, so our staff can thoroughly clean it again and then reintroduce it back into uh, use for, for the students that are coming in. Uh, each night we are cleaning the facility uh, with electrostatic sprayer as well. Uh, so throughout the day uh, everything's probably cleaned at least three to four times uh, over and over. Well, I like being back. I'm grateful we can still work out, get our workouts in. We're still safely um, socially um, distancing and wearing our masks, so it's good to have the opportunity to work out on campus. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, it's an easy transition. I feel like everyone is really comfortable with um, the new regulations and everyone seems to be following them. Uh, everybody's been kind of following all the rules. I mean, everybody brings their stuff up. It kind of takes a little bit more time, but everybody's kind of treated like a, it's another day in the life. I mean, it's just a new life to kind of live, so it's been easy to get Uh, for us it's been different, we have fall ball, we all have to wear masks and stuff like that, so it kind of gets a little bit tougher when we're kind of running stuff, but again, we're just doing what we can do to stay on the field, so that's all that really matters at this point. So the capacity of the, rec of the wellness center is regulated through our, our fusion system at the um, front desk and in the front desk of the fitness center. Um, we've reduced the capacity of 50 students, so that's 30 downstairs, 20 upstairs. And we regulate that through our um, wsulancers.com, our website. We update it every 15 minutes or so to take into account who's downstairs, who's upstairs. And if we reach close to capacity, we uh, close off a certain floor just to make sure that social distance is abided by and we're following all the new uh, protocols through the university. So one thing that I would love, I would kind of implore for everybody is to please, please do your best to follow our safety guidelines because the last thing we want to do is see this place closed because right now the wellness center is really one of the most, I don't know, the, like the only place on campus where we can, we can still like have a community because things are so, you know, so different now with, with the social distancing. This is one of the only places that we have that, you know, you can it can be still the community aspect of the whole school. So we, we kind of ask that everybody just does their, just, you know, do your part. I want everybody to feel safe. Uh, you know, we're still that same welcoming environment, uh, wishing everyone to come down, uh, make use of the facility and take care of their well-being, uh, relieve some stress. Uh, but we think we've, we've put our, our best plan forward. Uh, and we want the students to trust that we are we are doing this. Uh, and, you know, when, when we do approach folks and, and students about wearing their masks or cleaning equipment or not putting it back and letting us clean it, uh, you know, it's for everyone's safety. So we want everyone to come down, follow our new guidelines and policies, uh, and, and recreate with us. I think uh, above all, wearing your mask uh, when you're on campus. Uh, staying socially distant, you know, whether you're, you're on campus, in class, uh, walking through the hallway, or even in the fitness center. You know, we all need to do our part uh, to cre really create this shared uh, culture of responsibility. You know, it, it's everyone's job to keep everyone else safe uh, and do the best we can to mitigate the risk and, and stay open. Uh, you know, our students need the, the wellness center to remain open and we're doing our best to, to do that. Um, I think one of the other things other than wearing your mask properly when you're in the fitness center is, is knowing before you come here. Uh, know what to expect, you know, whether you're checking out our website or reopening plans, checking out the hours of open recreation versus the fitness center, 
uh, you name it. Um, everything is very flexible uh, throughout this semester though, so you know the importance of you, whether it's making that phone call or checking the website uh, will probably save you some, some time and hassle um, as things change at, at a given moment. Um, but we're doing our best to be as transparent as possible with hours and, and reopening plans, policies, procedures, reminders, uh, you name it. But we welcome all of our students to, uh, to come on down.